Popular songs make up a very small part of Lithuanian folk songs. Realistic, casual and fabulous imagines intertwine into one cloth. The most important idea about life, growth and fertility has been hidden under numerous symbols and metaphors. The most important festival, Sophia, coinciding with the changing cycles of the seasons, used to give life and meaning to a typical farmer's lifestyle, focusing on the same vital things. Relation with his land, nature, and ancestry was reminding him about his duty to extend his family. There is a great variety of songs, lyrics, the evidence of mythological and ritual elements, the archaic musical tones that show that calendar songs belong to the oldest Lithuanian folk chain. In these calendar songs, all the seasons of the year are described. However, the songs about winter and summer solstice stand out clearly with their customs and, and ceremonies. Uh, they are also called Christmas and Rasos. Songs definitely used to be performed at Shop Tuesday, Easter, uh, Whit Sunday, and on St. George's Day as well. Unfortunate, unfortunately, a very few of them have survived. want to introduce military historic songs. In military historic songs people sang about wars, war is fate, battles, generals and particularly historic events. These songs as well as other Lithuanian folk songs are lyric. Military historic songs have survived in the times when Lithuanian fought with the Teutonic Knights, Swedish and French forests. They express people's moods, attitude towards wars, defense of the homeland, reveals warriors and their family members' experience and feelings. Every war comes unexpectedly, destroys usual lives, makes people leave their homes. So, the plot of the old songs is related to the constant dangers, risks, victims and damages. The military historic channel of the folk songs most clearly reveals Lithuanian people's pain and sufferings. These songs are also valuable as a reliable source of information about the history of our country. Their lyricism is very deep, so singing military historic songs inspired people to be brave, courageous, and to defend their homeland from all enemies. The main ideas of military historic songs are the soldiers going to war and the death of the soldier. With its melodic and thematic significance, they are the most major songs in our folklore and the best reflections of person's emotional condition. War songs have been created for hundreds of years. Pain and bereavement of relatives are reflected in these songs. They have been saved around 20,000 versions and published in books of folklore as the value of Lithuanian history. <laughs> Yeah!
specific genre of polyphonic songs has remained since very old times in the northeastern part of Lithuania, called Okshetia, Upper Lithuania. There are no such songs in all Europe. So, let's talk about the Gliese features. First, polyphonic Lido voices. Performers joining at different times. Second, syncopatic rhythms. And the third, second voice matching, which sounds dissonantly, briskly, unusual, and even bizarre. Many of these can also be danced. Independent melodies blend with each other and form complex musical textures in Greece. Emotional melodies and text rendering provides unsophisticated melodies of Greece with a sensation of light, lightness, play and emotional movement. There are some specific words in Greece. Chuto, Dauno, Sodoto, Lingo, Latuto, Tatato. These are rarely heard today because of their complicated performance. But we are very proud of having the songs involved in the UNESCO heritage. A wedding is a festive theatrical performance involving a significant event in human life. 